Dallas is the third largest city in Texas after Houston and San Antonio and is the ninth largest city in the United States. With 6.1 million people, it's the fourth largest metropolitan area in the United States. Dallas is at the center of the largest inland metropolitan area in the United States. It lacks any navigable link to the sea. The city's prominence comes from its historical importance as a center for the cotton and oil industries, its position along numerous railroad lines, and its status as a strong industrial and financial sector. Today, it is a cosmopolitan city well known for its cultural activities including ballet, opera, musicals, and symphony. Dallas has a humid subtropical climate, though it is located in a region that tends to receive warm. Dry winds from the north and west in the summer, bringing temperatures well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are generally mild, with typical daytime highs between 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and nighttime lows between 35 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. However, a strong cold fronts known as Blue Northers sometimes pass through Dallas. Spring and autumn bring pleasant weather. Springtime weather can be quiet volatile, but temperatures themselves are mild. The weather is also generally pleasant between late September and early December. The city has historically been predominantly white, but its population has diversified as it has grown in size and importance over the 20th century to the point that non-Hispanic whites now represent only one-third of the city's population. About half of Dallas's population was born outside of Texas. Many residents have migrated to the city from other parts of the country. Before Texas was claimed in the 16th century as a part of New Spain by the Spanish Empire, the Dallas area was inhabited by the Caddo Native American tribe. Later, France also claimed the area, but in 1819, the Adams Owners Territory made the Red River the northern boundary of New Spain, placing Dallas within Spanish territory. The area remained under Spanish rule until 1821 when Mexico declared independence from Spain and the area became part of the Mexican state of Coahuila y In 1836, the Republic of Texas broke off from Mexico to become an independent nation. In 1839, Warren Angus Ferris surveyed the area around present-day Dallas. Two years later, John Neely Bryan established a permanent settlement that later became the city of Dallas. The Republic of Texas was annexed by the United States in 1845 and Dallas County was established the following year. It is uncertain whether the city was named after George Mifflin Dallas, the U.S. Vice President under James K. Polk. The assassination of John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, States took place on November 22, 1963 in Dallas. Kennedy was fatally wounded by gunshots while riding with his wife Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy in a presidential market. The city uses a council manager government with a mayor, a city manager, and 14 council members serving as representatives to the 14 council districts in the city. Dallas also is the seat of the 5th Court of Appeals of Texas. Dallas is no longer a hotbed for manufacturing like it was in the early 20th century, but plenty of goods are still manufactured in the city. Texas Instruments employs 10,400 people at its corporate headquarters and cheap plants in neighboring Richardson, and defense and aircraft manufacturing still dominates the economy of nearby Fort Worth. Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex as a whole has the largest concentration of corporate headquarters in the United States. New additions to the list include AT&T, which announced plans in June 2008 to relocate its corporate headquarters to downtown Dallas from San Antonio. The city is home to 15 billionaires, placing it ninth worldwide among cities with the most billionaires. The ranking does not take into account the eight billionaires who live in the neighboring city of Fort Worth. The most notable event held in Dallas is the State Fair of Texas, which has been held annually at Fair Park since 1886. The fair is a massive event, bringing in an estimated $350 million to the city's economy annually. 
Like many other major cities in the United States, the primary mode of local transportation in Dallas is the automobile. Though efforts have been made to increase the availability of alternative modes of transportation, including the construction of light rail lines, biking and walking paths, white sidewalks, a trolley system, and buses. Dallas is also served by two commercial airports, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport and Dallas Love Field. The Arts District in the northern section of downtown is home to several arts venues, both existing and proposed. Notable venues in the district include the Dallas Museum of Art, the Morton H. Myerson Symphony Center, the Trammell and Margaret Crow Collection of Asian Art, the Natural Sculpture Center, the Dallas Contemporary, and the Dallas Children's Theater. Deep Ellum, immediately east of downtown, originally became popular during the 1920s and 1930s as a prime jazz and blues hotspot in the south. There is a large Protestant Christian influence in the Dallas community, as the city is deep within the Bible Belt. Methodist and Baptist churches are prominent in many neighborhoods and anchor two of the city's major private universities, Southern Methodist University and Dallas Baptist University. The Cathedral of Hope, a lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Protestant church, is the largest congregation of its kind in the world. The city is also home to a sizable Mormon community and a large Muslim community that live in the north and northeastern portions of Dallas. Dallas and its surrounding suburbs also have one of the largest Jewish communities in the United States. There are 337 public schools, 89 private schools, 38 colleges, and 32 libraries in Dallas. Most neighborhoods in the city of Dallas are located within the Dallas Independent School District, the 12th largest school district in the United States. The school district operates independently of the city and enrolls over 161,000 students. The University of Texas Southwestern Medical School is a medical school that is part of the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center at Dallas, one of the largest groupings of medical facilities in the world. The school is very selective, admitting only around 200 students a year. The facility is home to four Nobel laureates, three in physiology medicine and one in chemistry. Dallas is home to the Dallas Desperados, AFL, Dallas Mavericks, NBA, and Dallas Stars, NHL. All three teams play at the American Airlines Center. Nearby Airway is home to the Dallas Cowboys of the National Football League. 